uh, welcome to my first YouTube video. It's Christmas time now. Yeah, how, how, how's? I have to stop. Who let me buy this pillow? Honestly, bad choice. The whole point of this video was because you guys wanted to see a travel try-on haul of all the outfits I wore on one of my trips and why did I wear them and everything. So since a lot of you commented and messaged me that you're going to Europe and you don't know what the weather's going to be like, you're going to want that. So the trip that I decided to do for this was one of my most recent trips and one of my most favorite trips and that was to Italy. The reason I chose Italy was because when we went there, it was the perfect weather for all stages of Europe. The first day we went had the first rain of the year, so it was insane. Like, cars getting towed, water up to the windows, stores shutting down because they were getting flooded over. You ever seen an old lady trying to sweep water out of a store? It was insane. You Californians who all of a sudden forgets how to drive whenever it sprinkles outside would have been like, yeah, that happened the first day. And then it progressively just got warmer and warmer and it literally felt like Winter, summer, spring, and fall. Because believe it or not, spring and fall are the warmer seasons in Europe. I guess fall is a late... Late summer? Without any further ado, let's dig in. I wanted in. to give you a look of my outfit today. You're wondering why my clothes are a little bit big on the sides? is because it's my mom's. This is a little silky vest that is from Caché. And it also has a super cute fur hood this sweater is like a brownish tannish color and it's from only mine these jeans are from they really don't need to be belted but i just feel much more comfortable with a belt because you skinny people you can you can relate you never want to risk it you never want to you know have a whale tail or something and then these are from lucky brand i like them because they're just a little bit over the hips and they do them some justice and they make your booty look good you get lucky I'm so weird. And then finally, I have these little boots. They're about knee length exactly. And they just have about a one inch heel because it still gives you the clickety clack of sexiness. But um, it leaves your feet still in one piece. So. So this was the first outfit that I wore when we first landed into Italy. The sweater is just from Abercrombie & Fitch. But I got it two years ago and in New York. So maybe they still have it. Took my sweater off to give you a better look at this shirt. It's like a pumpkin y. It's pumpkin. But yeah, I like it. It's from Urban Outfitters and it's a nice shirt to just pair with underneath sweaters or jackets or, or you know, if it's too cold to wear a t shirt but too hot to wear a sweater, you got it. These are the jeans that I just previously showed you in the other outfit as well because I'm being lazy and don't want to change. What it does show is what was hidden by my boots. These are called mullet jeans, but these are kind of different than normal because they have a cut that is like a right angle of the mullet jean. Usually when I get mullet jeans, or a lot of my other jeans for that matter, they're from True Religion. If you are skinny like me, True Religion is your go-to because they will fit you at any size. Jeans are so hard for me to find because I'm tall and skinny. But True Religions hit it on the dot. They, I can just walk in and feel like a normal person. Like, I don't have any weird kind of body type. I got these little shoes from DSW. When I went to Italy, I actually had suede booties that were a little bit higher. But I had to get new ones because they got ruined in the rain. This outfit didn't really have a lot of purpose. It didn't have any intentions, no pictures planned or anything. But it did work out thanks to the weather. So, first day we got there... I had to just warm because it was the first rain of the year. And the rain is like when you turn on your shower head and it is like an ice bath. It is like that everywhere. No, no. Your girl doesn't do rain. I decided to go to this nice dry cappuccino place. I ended up drinking a bunch of cappuccinos and my little heart was like, oh, it worked out because the cappuccino was super cute and had like those, I don't know how those people do it. If I knew how to do it, I would be saving so much money. It had those cute little designs on it, which I didn't get in the picture, but trust me, it was there because I wouldn't have ordered it if it didn't have a cute design on it. Like, hello. So you're going to want to layer up. For girls, you can still look cute without having to look slutty. And if you're really thinking you're going to make it in Europe wearing a skirt or a dress or something, huh, it's cute. You're not. This was my second outfit, and I really liked this one just because it was simple, but it was still cozy and easy to walk around in. 
This was a three quarter sleeve, really light shirt. And it has a little opening, a little crisscross, which I thought was super cute. And I'm usually not a person for holy jeans. I think that was totally like, you know, 2013. These are from Lucky Brand. And again, it's right over the hip. And it makes your booty look real good. And it fits just, it just fits great. And it has frayed little ends. So, there you go. So, the second day we went to two completely different cities. The first one we went to was Tuscany. And the second one we went to was Siena. Tuscany is like romantic movies in person. It is like where romantic movies come to life. Okay, there should be a Hollywood sign, but rather say Nicholas Sparks on it. It is gorgeous, it's amazing, and we went wine tasting of all things. And then we went to Siena, which is where the medieval crap happened, like the torture chambers and you know, the weird people with the weird masks and all that stuff and all that nasty happened. Yeah, that was over there, which is ironically like 20 minutes away from Tuscany, so. So I wore this little number for about a solid two hours um, of my trip. It is kind of a corally, silky romper, and I really love it. It's casual, but it's also cute to be worn just as is, and it's a romper so you don't have to worry about flashing anybody. You can still twirl like a dress. I actually wore this romper on our first night in Venice, and I honestly, the main reason that I brought it was because I wanted to look sexy for one night. But the problem with Europe is they actually have a lot of dress codes. And if you're trying to do any tours or going in the cathedrals or anything, they're not gonna let you in. And if you were to wear this around, they would probably be like, okay, it's a house of God, not a house of hoes. Go. I honestly wasn't really planning on wearing it, but it just worked out. I wore this on our first night in Venice. We were just sitting on the water and having drinks, having a great time, looking at all the lights. Absolutely amazing. 100% recommend going to Venice. It's one of my all-time favorite places to go in the entire world. This dress is probably going to be one of the most recognized. It looks kind of dark in the camera, but it's actually a navy blue and it's really pretty and super flowy but it's also tight around the hips and around the top it has little straps and my favorite part is they have little slits the front one's a little bit high but it has buttons so if you want to be a little bit more conservative a little bit more modest you can so as i said before you're gonna want a lot of warm clothes when i went fall is one of the the most warmest seasons in Europe, so I actually got away with this. I did wear a jean jacket over it, so it wasn't too bad, but the thing I had to be careful with with this dress was getting into like tours and cathedrals. Luckily, they didn't catch me, but if they saw the slits, I would have been kicked out. <laughs> Bye. So since I keep mentioning that you're not allowed into certain places, what you need to know is a lot of the overall dress code for Europe is don't wear anything that shows your shoulders and you can't wear anything above the knees. So shorts, short skirts, dresses, those all have to be really modest. Or you can wear a spaghetti strap, but wear a jacket over it. You have to, you know, present yourself. For this dress, it's really showing up super dark, but it's actually um, a really pretty navy blue. And I wore this because I knew there was so much water and I knew I was not leaving Venice until we took that gondola ride. The actual gondola rides in Venice compared to the the Venice and the Venetian Hotel in Vegas, nothing alike. So yeah, basically I tried to match water. I think what holds Venice at the top of my list for favorite places to go in the world is because of how nice the people are, all of its characteristics and how unique it is. I am not exaggerating at all when I say none of them know how to drive a car. Everything is floating. All the buildings, all the ground, Everything is built off of logs that are embedded within the sand, and the water is only a couple feet deep. You know, it's not super deep. Don't taste it or go swimming or anything because it's nasty. The other thing that I thought was super cool was because the logs are thousands and thousands of years old, obviously, and the water levels are rising, the logs are kind of moving. So you'll be walking and you'll see these old buildings and cathedrals or even just their sidewalk or their bridges. The ground is literally uneven. It's so pretty and it's so much fun and you have to go. Did I make it clear enough you have to go? So in this outfit, this was just a little 
green lace shirt. It can be dressed up casual or fancy. There is a little opening here, but I'm part of the IBTC, the itty bitty titty thing, so it doesn't work. It doesn't open. It's also see-through on the back, so you can be a little scandalous. Again, I'm being lazy and I paired it with the same pair of jeans, Lucky Brand jeans. I have the mullet cut off edges. Finally, I got these little booties from Steve Madden. I'm in love with them. They have the little lace and they also have a zip up because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So I forgot to mention it. Oh, hey, look, it opened. I forgot to mention that this shirt is from Guess. I actually didn't bring a lot of guests with me on this trip, but I wear it all the time, so. But what inspired this outfit was the fact that we were back in Rome and I knew we were just going to be hanging out. And I knew where we were going was kind of more earthy and more historical. We went to the Vatican, which was gorgeous. And we went to the Colosseum and we just kind of walked around. And Rome it's, itself is a very ancient city. And being a Christian, I was in awe of everything going on, especially the Colosseum. I've been two times now. The first, I only got to walk around and see it, but even then I was like, whoa, because this thing is massive, like even bigger than in the Lizzie McGuire movie. And then the second time when I went with my mom, we went inside and that was when it got crazy because you could see, you know, where they held the lions and where they held the prisoners and the stage where all the Christians were killed and like so much you could see the stands you could see everything it is crazy it was moving if you ever get a chance to go to rome definitely go the vatican the Colosseum. you won't regret it the fact that we are going to these historical places and that they're really run down so since i was trying to match dirt the theme of my outfit was earthy tones so that's why i chose this forest green and in the video i actually showed you my steve madden booties i'm in love with those boots but i did not bring them on the trip because i had not bought them yet i had just worn tennis shoes and a little jean jacket, dead on denim, signature look, and called it a day. Finally, this was my last outfit on the trip. This had no planning behind it. As far as I knew, it was going to be a relaxed day and we weren't going on very many tours or anything. Lindsay is just a little ribbed white onesie and it has a very low cut back. These jeans, like I mentioned before, are from Lucky Brand. Finally, the infamous white sandals that I have been procrastinating on putting on. So yeah, this was it. This is a very summery, very not so conservative, European approved outfit. I just knew we were going to the Amalfi Coast and Pompeii. Hadn't done any research on it, I just kind of followed my mom. Amalfi Coast ended up working out perfectly because for some reason it did not click in my brain that it was a beach. We had a delicious meal in the Amalfi Coast, and then we headed into Pompeii, which is also a very historical place. It was a city that's covered in molten lava, basically. It's, you know, besides Rome, where the Romans lived. So since it was a beach, it was perfect weather, super warm, perfect outfit. You know, we're just walking around town, drinking limoncello. It was, it was amazing. So for those of you who have made it to the end, thank you so much for watching it, and if you haven't, if you've already watched this video you might as well just press like and subscribe because you already watched me and you already put up with my annoying voice so do it okay bye